Hello guys, Andy from Next Gen Base here and welcome to an NGB Retro where the old man plays the old games. And today's old game is kind of technically not an old game because it's just come out, but it is a remastered edition of an old game. We are going to be taking a look at Baton Kytos HD Remaster 1 and 2 collection on Nintendo Switch. More technically, we're actually going to be looking at the first Baton Kytos game in this set on Nintendo Switch. Here we can see we've got the uh, the select screen here, you've got the option of Baton Kytos or its sequel Baton Kytos Origins. We're going to be doing a separate video for Origins. That's going to come up at the same time as this. But basically we're just going to do a little gameplay video. We're going to run through the first half hour or so of each of these games um, and just sort of take a look at what they're like. They originally came out on the GameCube like way back when. So Baton Kytos 1 came out back in 2003 came to UK in 2005 so that was when I last played it um, and I don't believe Origins ever got a release outside of Japan but I'll check that up for when we uh, get round to that video so without further ado let's hop in to Baton Kytos and see what this remaster is like A long, long time ago it was, before people began to dwell in the sky. A terrible war was waged between us humans and the wicked god. After the horrendous battle, our ancestors entombed the wicked god and left the polluted and barren earth to find their future in the sky. Things that people mustn't touch. Who cares? Ha! The god of demise and destruction, the cursed power of Mar Petru. The end, Magnus? Never heard of that before. Damn, the bastards. Just so busy. I've been waiting. Finish him. He will inflict a catastrophe upon the Empire. Let us trust Just the young one more who hold the spirit within them. Only oh! such a battle no! will fill the void within you and soothe the agony inside. From when did you know? Kimari, no dead weight! No way! Yeah. Only hope the lost ocean. Awaken! Oh, God of the past! <laughs> now! Be what you want to be! Someday you will know what you are meant to be. Well, there we go. That was the incredibly early 2000s intro sequence to Baton Kytos, Eternal Wings, and The Lost Ocean. Um, I kind of remember that. I say it's been so long since I've played this. Um, you know, 2005, this game came out. I know I had it on my GameCube. Uh, around that time, so um, you know, I, it's been so long since I played this. Um, here we go. Let's go. Let's see what the gameplay is like in this remaster. Anata. 
気に入られたみたい精霊が降りてきて何か想像もつかないような素敵なことが始まるといいわねいやえー、っとその名前は I remember now I think this kind of breaks the fourth wall in a way and、um, the, the kind of the lead character that you've bonded with、uh, engages with you as the player directly if I recall correctly so let's put my name in now I could have plugged in my、um, GameCube adapter and played this like, you know, proper old school, but I am using the、um, uh, Switch Pro controller. Also, it's interesting that it's,、um, uh, it's defaulted to Japanese language. I don't know whether I can change that now. Apparently, possibly not. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, I remember this. So, this is kind of some customization options that, that they have、um, added、uh, to kind of like give some quality of life changes、uh, to this、um, remaster. So, you can have no encounters. So, that gets rid of random encounters.、Um, I can't remember what instant KO is. I believe that's possibly、um, like instantly、uh, getting through、um, battles.、Um, you can speed up the battles.、Uh, you can speed up. You can have auto battle on, so you don't actually have to do the battles because this is like an old school RPG, like you know, your Final Fantasies and your games like that. So, these are some options to kind of streamline that RPG experience. I'm going to leave them as is,、um, and we're going to see where we go. Okay, so are we waking up? Now, I can't quite remember whether this used t i l l i z e s pre rendered backgrounds like the older Final Fantasy games or whether it is fully 3D. I guess we'll find out in a minute when we start to move the camera around. どうだい気分はあんたは俺私はラリクシーこのケバルライ村で医者をやっている君は近くの森で気を失って倒れているとこああそうだいきなりロックキャットに襲われてロックキャットチクショー That sounds like a 90s cartoon some kind of you know teenage mutant ninja turtles rip off 相手がロックキャットでよかった。彼らは装飾だった。しかし、普段は人を襲ったりしない
最近森の生き物たちが妙に落ち着かなぜだかわからないがみんなひどく気が当たっている君も森には下手に近寄らないところで君の名は何と言うんだねこの辺りでは見かけない顔のようだがああ俺はカラスって呼ばれてるこの辺りに来るのは初めてなんだそれうんカラそれでは改めてようこそケバルライ村にカラス君強く頭をぶつけていたようだからもしかすると軽い記憶ちょっと心配だったんだがその分さよかったら起きて村の中を見て回ってみるといいまあ辺境の小さな農村だ特にこれといったものはないがねそれから君の秘書機はそこだ変わった方の秘書機だね帝国で一般に普及しているもあ,あそいつはじいちゃんが作ってるじいちゃん腕のいい機械<笑>なるほどところでそのおじいさんは死んだよ2年前にそうかそいつはありがとう先生助かったよああ例なら外にいるミーマイ森で倒れてる君を見つけてここまでかくああ分かったThese old games don't take,、uh, do take their time, rather, don't they? I always think it's, it's fascinating sort of going back and looking at games from this era that, that kind of, you know, the, the changes that we've had in, you know, RPGs since then. I mean, if you went back and compared like a modern RPG sort of post,、uh, like Final Fantasy XIII, to, to something like this, which is a more traditional turn based RPG.、Um, but. I believe the combat in this had something very interesting going on with it, if it's the game I remember it to be. There we go, we're in control now. So, okay, so we can't set, we can't do anything in the controls there.、Uh, okay, so there's the system controls. I'm going to change.、Uh, uh, voices is 100%. Ah, so you can't. Unless you had to set the, the, the voice language on the title screen. I have to go and have a look at that.、Um, not that I don't dislike you know, having、um, Japanese language, but for a video, I think it just helps to have、um, uh, English language.、Uh, but I will probably play the game in Japanese anyway.、Um, so, yeah, so this build deck,、um, so the combat, I believe, is kind of a. a, a you, you, you play with a deck of cards. Um, that you that represent your attacks and defense and, and kind of special attacks and things like that. So it's kind of a, an early precursor to, to those kind of deck building RPG games that we see quite a lot of these days.、Um, so it'll be interesting again going back to this. I think they've done a, a nice looking job on, on the visuals. You know, obviously, they are some they are lower polys, lower detail on the models, but you know, it, it's quite nice and smooth.、Um, they've obviously、uh, re rendered the, the backgrounds here. Oh, we can't talk to people. <clears throat> He's asking me what to ask her about. Alright, so these are all the different things. So, earning money. So, this is kind of the,、uh, the sort of help thing there. Okay, I can't tell you much about that now. Just come back in a while. I'm really busy. You can ask me anything, but I'm very, very busy. Okay, let's go out. Let's, let's go and have an explore of the village and see if we can、uh, get in some combat.、Oh, nice little sort of smoky effect. Yeah, that, I, the backgrounds, I'm pretty sure, are pre rendered. They don't look 3D, but they look lovely.、Um, really nice. I like kind of the, the depth of field effects on the foreground foliage. It's been a, so long since I played this, I'm not entirely sure. Kind of what's been added to this. I, I feel like I probably should have taken a look at the original GameCube version before I、uh, I jumped into this to kind of be able to compare it, but.、Um... 
it certainly feels like they've added some some visual flourishes um, to this, considering the time that the original would have been out. It's definitely, obviously, in widescreen, uh, whereas the original, I believe, would have been in four by three aspect ratio to to fit kind of the more squared off TVs of the era. Safe point. <clears throat> okay. So I'm guessing we level up and save at the blue flowers. Well, I'll check it out now. Ah, uh, right, so red ones are like quick save. Blue ones are level up. Okay. Uh, right, okay, so save your progress. But it is auto saving. I can imagine that's a new thing as well. Uh, again, that's something I feel like I, I, I kind of have to, to sort of check up um, on sort of the additions. In fact, I'm going to do that. And we'll come back in just a second. A few moments later. Okay, we're back. So, yes, a lot of what we see in this menu is the, the new quality of life adjustments to the game. So, instant KO allows you to defeat enemies in a single attack. Um, no encounters, obviously, removes random encounters from the game. Um, and, and various things like that. And uh, I believe, although I didn't quite find confirmation, that the, uh, the auto-saving is also a new addition um, to this remastered version of the game but it, it it certainly looks really nice i think it's got quite a nice um kind of painterly kind of comic book style to it Stop asking me about the winglet. あ、<笑><笑> So we have wings. Now obviously this is a uh, Nintendo Switch exclusive. Uh, I don't believe it's getting a release on... Um, Xbox or PlayStation, although it's certainly not been announced yet. Now, obviously, the original um, was only ever released on GameCube, so if it does come to other platforms, that means that this will be the first time that these games have appeared outside of a Nintendo platform. Um, yep. That's correct. Um... But obviously, being on the Switch gives you the option to, to play portably, obviously. And, um, well, <laughs> that's quite the expression. <laughs> oh, so that's Mimai, is it? Mimai is like some kind of inflatable that you put in the pool. Um, but, uh,. Yes, yeah, so obviously the bonus of it being on the Switch is you have the handheld gameplay. You can um, suspend your game, obviously, um, you know, to, to transfer between TV, to, between handheld. But obviously, you know, as well as the save options that you have, you can just kind of suspend and pop your console to sleep, um, pick it up when you get a chance. Uh, which I think makes games like this a lot more accessible. Anyway, um, I think it's it's much easier, certainly when I've got a larger game, like I've been playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom recently. Um, 
What's this over here? Moon Guile Forest. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going, but I'm going to go and... Should I be here? Um, but when I'm playing a larger game like that, it's quite nice to be able to um, just leave the, uh, the, the the console with the game um, intact uh, at the position where I left it. So here we go. Enemy encounters. Okay, so here's the card system. So I have a leather jacket for defense, presumably. I have a short sword and a saber for attacks. Bamboo shoot. So it's kind of a... a Okay. So it shows what damage was dealt. Okay, so I can guard. So it's kind of semi real time, semi. Um... No, I can't use that. Ah, but if you choose a card that you can't use, you um, it does lose that card. Interesting. Interesting. I say it's been so long since I've uh, I've played this. Can I? Ah, so you can queue up multiple cards in one hand. I've got a shield there. I can guard. Ah, I should have should have queued up a couple of uh, potentially. Although I didn't look at taking any damage there. So bananas presumably are heals. So the bananas dealt damage, and I took a picture. So does that mean that I can? Okay, it's going to take one more. Okay, it's going to take zero more. Right. So presumably, does that go into like a collection now? Where did I go for that collection? So the okay. So Magnus is the available cards that I have, presumably. Special combos of cards. Um, music. So you can listen to the different music from the game. Which is available on Bandai Namco's music service on YouTube. And also other services like iTunes, Apple Music, um, um, and Google Music, I believe. So, um, yeah. So there's plenty. Well, Google Music is YouTube Music. Uh, Spotify. That's the one I was looking for. Um, so, you know, there's there's plenty of, uh, of options if you want to listen to the soundtrack. So this is the deck that I currently have. So these are the cards um, that uh, I can currently use. And obviously the deck gets shuffled every battle. Um, once I've used all the cards in the deck, um, they, uh, they get um, reshuffled again as well. Um, so that's a, a, a health uh, regeneration item. Restores 45 HP. Um, bizarrely the green bananas are in attack I don't know what I do, I throw them presumably uh, the camera takes a picture of the target round shield is 10 defence ok so the ice dagger defends, uh, does defence and damage and then we've got a bunch of defensive items um, and then various different swords so <clears throat> as I go through the game I think I can level up the amount of cards I can have in my deck um, I can level up the cards that I obviously have in my collection. Um, so these are all the different cards. Uh, there's uh, 1,022 cards altogether to collect. Um, presumably I can put together decks um, to take on particular encounters. So let's go and uh, have a scrap with this wing winged beast up here and see what it's guarding. Okay, so I've got nothing, so I'm going to have to wait... Uh, so I can't do any, couldn't do anything there because I was attacking, but I can obviously use then those defensive cards to defend against enemy attacks. Ah, 
you do have a window in which you have to use the card, so obviously, so I was too slow there, I took some damage, I didn't get my shield up in time. Uh, so I can do two attacks there, once with that standard sword, another with the ice sword, which deals 37 damage, but I have used that ice sword now, so I can't use it as a defensive item. Oh, and that presumably is something... Oh, and I can defend with that sword as well by the looks of it. So obviously the cards that are greyed out I can't use um, within defence. I have forgotten how quite good fun the um, the attack, me the kind of combat mechanics are in this. They're quite fluid um, and they're quite uh, intuitive as well. Rather than having to, because I mean I played some Final Fantasy games. Um, okay, so I've got another shield. Okay, so you can only take a certain amount of items. Um, okay, so I have obtained a Magnus, voice level 1. Let's have a look. Okay, so that does 2 plus combo, prize voice clip, plus 5%. Uh, the char oh, it's a taunt, so the character taunts an enemy. A level 1 taunt adds a 5% prize if included in a combo attack. So if you taunt, it, um, it gives you a chance of um, getting a, a bonus at the end uh, of the combat. So I've got some things here that I can swap in. So let's swap some stuff in. So the buckler there does 8 defense, whereas the round shield does 10 defense. So I'm going to swap... How do I do that? I'm going to put that back in. I'm going to put that shield in. I'm just going to get rid of those bananas because they're weird. And I'm going to put my voice card in so that I can do some taunts. Okay, let's go further into the forest. Okay, so what's going on here, sir? What's happening, sir or lady? I can't quite tell because it's top down. Alright, so he's talking about... Alright, so this is kind of where you learn your combat. So, uh, I, I think we've kind of figured a lot of this out. Use weapons for the offensive round and armour. Shields for the defense around some weapons can be used for defense as well. You won't lose your Magnus, so go ahead and experiment. Yep, yeah, so that's obviously you, once you've used a card, you don't lose it. I think I rem what I remember was this was kind of what really intrigued me and really got me interested in this game when it first came out was this whole um, card mechanic because I was quite big into um, trading card games at the time, still am. Don't get quite as much time to play them these days, but. Yeah, you know, that's still quite good fun. So, um, yeah, I, th I think we've figured out the, kind of like the combat system. So you can combo cards in. You use the attack phase to utilize uh, defensive cards. A large dried up tree trunk is blocking the path. Okay, so that blocks your progress. So you've got to go back to the village. Can you avoid encounters? You can avoid, avoid some encounters, which is good. Okay, so got a combo out there. Guarded against all the damage, which is good. So obviously having a good balance of offensive and defensive weapons in your deck is quite critical, uh, or cards rather, sorry, um, to be able to get the uh, the right level of um, the right kind of balance from the combat. And I think, yeah, again, I love what they've done visually with this. I think the, the kind of the new UI looks really nice. So we've got a new card, a leather vest. There we go. Um, so I could potentially 
drop that into my deck. Let's take a look. So, hmm. where's my leather vest? Did I not take it? It's there. Defense eight. Is there some kind of level restriction for using that, or perhaps I need? Oh, so you can also increase the size of the cards. So you know that's quite a nice little accessibility feature. Uh, go to items. Oh, so I've got some items as well that I can use. Um, to heal so I mean I had taken some damage which hasn't healed so um, if I utilize that now that heals my character in the field which is quite handy but yeah I, lo I love sort of like the the look of the UI I think they've done a good job obviously in some instances like this presumably they've not recreated some of all of the visuals um, so this still is presented in like the 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 uh, four by three uh, aspect ratio um, of the uh, the old version of the game. Um, squeak, 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 squeak. Can I not take him out as part of my party? Thanks, me, my. Um, but yeah, so you know, there we go. That is like the opening parts of uh, Baton Kytos One from the Baton Kytos collection. Let's just go to the church uh, to start as well. I mean, obviously, we've got the auto save keeps uh, keeps ticking over, so it seems like that that is auto saving. Um, whenever we enter the uh, the hamlet there, uh, or whenever we enter a new location, presumably. Let's visit the church. Let's have a look and see if we can level up. So, what's going on in here? What to do? I don't know. You tell me, mate. I come here to level up. I do search for a greater power. I would rather like that. If you've earned enough experience, your prayers will be answered. Let's take a look. Ask about increasing levels. So we need to pray before the altar. Okay, cool. Yes, let's find out about um, class levels. Artifacts in the world. Items of great power. Even in Magnus form, these items retain their magic and will help you prepare for even greater ordeals. Ah, right, so we can find Magnuses that uh, can be unlocked. I wonder if we need to do that to um, allow me to use the card for the, uh, uh, the the leather vest that we found. No, that's fine. Yeah, cool. So where do we pray? Ah, there we go. So I can't level up I can't do anything so obviously I don't have enough experience points to to do that yet which is fine um, but this is obviously where you'd come if you wanted to to do any leveling so yeah there we go that's uh, oh these barrels appear to be empty now so you do get some like alerts when you can interact with with objects in the environment um, Uh, so we're getting getting things that we can do, like go and see the mayor, um, and uh, and go and get presumably the first start of our quest. But yeah, so obviously this is only half of the remaster collection. 
as I say, we're also going to be taking a look at Baton Kytos Origins, which is the uh, other game that's included in this collection. But judging by kind of the, the work that's been done on uh, this game, uh, you know, it looks nice. It looks, it's got some good modern quality of life updates. Uh, controls feel nice, um, and you know, it, uh, it's a, it's going to be a good fit, I think, for um, handheld and TV play on the Nintendo Switch. Obviously. We're going to be playing a bit more of this. You know, you can't really play half an hour of these big games. You know, we're probably looking at like a 50-odd hour game here. But we're going to be playing a bit more of this. And we will be coming back in the future with our thoughts, uh, with some final thoughts on this collection. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed what you've seen. If you have, don't forget to just lightly tap on that like button just so it lights up and we get a little ding thumbs up. Um... Uh, and uh, if you want to comment, if you're playing this, if you're enjoying it, if you know it, it's bringing back some memories of the older release of the game, comments are down below. Um, and obviously, if you want to see more videos like this, um, do subscribe to the channel. And we will see you next time on NGB. Bye for now.